Isolation continues and I hope you are all staying happy and healthy. If you're lucky enough to have a friend or family member that enjoys being used as a piece of exercise equipment, then good on you. As you can see, these two are really smashing it with their happiness and health. Look at that, he loves it. He absolutely loves being used as a fucking ropey rope thing. Yeah, now he does. He's a top mate. Here's a tutorial on how to take your pants off while doing a handstand. You know, the amount of knowledge sharing happening online has been incredible. Talented people with skills have been so accessible. If you're motivated, you can learn how to shred the Bohemian Rhapsody guitar solo directly from Brian May, or how to play tennis good from Federer and Nadal, or yeah, how to take your pants off in a handstand position. I've not done any of these things yet, but I'm getting round to it. Here's a spready to the gods and bam, show over. You can still make cooking a social activity too, by the way. This legend is showing off his new pizza oven to all his friends. Here's another bloke that's ready to invite everyone over for a barbecue. I can practically smell it. You can imagine that it fucking smells delicious. Looks great as well. And big deal if theme parks like Disneyland are closed. Dads have always been a cheaper, more convenient theme park in and of themselves. How is Disneyland better than this? Tell me, make your argument. How is it any bloody better? It's not! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, the kids don't get a holiday this year. Fuck off. Yes, they do. Here's a trip to Switzerland. It's an exact replica of the Alps or Whistler in Canada or whatever. Alter some imagery on Photoshop, and yeah, nah, they'll never know that this wasn't a real ski trip. More music, lots of wankers are creating fantastic music. <laughs> No one's accomplished as much as this bloke though. Look at the concentration and determination to build a Pringles bridge. You can argue it has zero impact on the world. I'd say it does, it's a tourist attraction. This legend is a modern symbol of quarantine sanity. Here's a catfish, that's it, that's the joke. It's not even my original joke, but I'm doing what I can for you in this pandemic. Fuck me, this cat is also a modern symbol of quarantine sanity. Let it be known that May 2020 was the exact moment that sheep seized control of the planet. No, seriously, sheep are appearing everywhere. It's a dystopian future no one predicted, and it's fair dinkum bloody awesome. Look at Turkey, absolutely fucked on by sheep. They're like, let us show you what herd immunity looks like. Here it is, a working example. But I'm hesitant to follow the sheep. I always am, like this guy. We're on lockdown, lads. You need to go. We're on lockdown. No, I don't care, mate. We're on lockdown. The police will have you. I tell you, it's a 60 quid fine, lads. I know. 60 quid. Hopefully there's toilet paper and sanitizer available in your part of the world again. If so, you'll be picking up the pieces of your love life in no time. Yeah, this fella is like, how you going? When all this shit is over, let's bloody party. It's a good message. Stay positive. The pub will be open soon. Crikey, that is some sexy toilet paper. Toilet paper.